Hi, I'm Niels. Welcome to my stable in Belgium, where I work, where I train. Let's show you around. Well, thank you so much for having us, Niels. And what have you been up to for the past few weeks since we got back from Doha? Actually home, uh, no shows. I was really enjoying my win in Doha for the last weeks. <laughs> Making the most of it. With my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. And you've won so many Grand Prix, but why was Doha so special and emotional? Um, because actually uh, winning a Grand Prix uh, from the Global and Champions Tour uh, it's not so easy. Uh, it's winning a Grand Prix with the best riders in the world, with the best horses in the world. So yeah, uh, that makes it really special. Continuing on the fact of how many Grand Prix winners you've had over the last few years, but they've all been on different horses. So what do you look for in a horse that's going to win a Grand Prix? Like, are there some traits that Deluxe has and Grancia has or...? No, I'm looking at not something I'm looking for a really good horse and uh, we try to be a combination because winning a Grand Prix uh, is together is making a combination you need the right horse um, like here is Gansia she's over there she won last year the Grand Prix in Cannes um, she's also one of my best horses so I'm really happy um, she was not in Doha actually because I make really the plan uh, with the legs to go into Doha but the plan is that she will go to uh, Madrid. And talking about the plan with Deluxe in Doha, just to pull him out on the Saturday and only jump the qualifier and the Grand Prix, obviously, you've got to have confidence in a horse to have that much commitment. What what was the behind the scenes of that side of it? Uh, it was the whole week in my mind, actually. Um, he jumped the first week in Doha, fantastic. Um, and I was thinking why I should jump him. He, he jumped three rounds on Saturday the first week and I thought he's jumping amazing. Why I should jump him and jump him and jump him again for nothing actually. So let's keep him for the big game on Saturday. And it's just so risky because I don't think we've ever seen anyone at GCL or GCT pull that off before. Was there kind of doubt in your mind that, oh, if I've done this and it all goes wrong I've wasted a show or how did that kind of no because he had already a really good show the first week um, anyway my plan was to jump him in the second round uh, of the league so he could jump one round on Saturday for sure yeah. uh, but I was not sure about it I think I tracked it for three times at the show office <laughs> that it was allowed to jump him straight away on yeah. Saturday yeah no it's risky but it paid yeah. off and from what we can gather, Deluxe was not the easiest horse when he was younger, or you might say quite strong-minded. I think there was a time in Berlin where he spanned before he even got through the start gates. How have you overcome this with him? Um, I think uh, still every show he's getting better and better. He's growing more and more to my side. In the beginning, he was a little bit against me. Mm -hmm. um, he was fighting. Um, he used his power because he's a very strong horse. And like I said, show by show, step by step, uh, I was feeling straight away from the beginning that it was a special horse, character-wise and quality-wise. So we give them all the chances to be a really big champion. No, that's so special. And his owners are so committed to the sport. I think they've even traveled to Shanghai to come and watch before. Does that add extra pressure on you coming to every event? Uh, no, because I get not any pressure from the owners and that's really important. They enjoy going to the show, they enjoy uh, seeing the horse jumping, they know the sport, they know it can go wrong, they know we can win, yeah. uh, you can lose, but they enjoy to win, so they, are, they were really happy, but they were not there. <laughs> <laughs> not this time, next time. Yeah. And I mean, owners are the backbone of our sport. What kind of how important is it to you to have the support to be able to have these top rides? I think this is the most important. Uh, if they don't give you confidence, I think it's not possible to get all these results. Uh, they trust me. They give me actually the best horse they have. They give it in my hands uh, to my team here at the stable. So it's really important for me. And like you said, it is a team here at the stables. It was a team effort that win in Doha. Who was part of it? Who else have you got here? 
I think everybody uh, from the home rider to the home groom to the groom at the show I think it's a it's a team win because uh, they are athletes the horses and they are we need to be here seven on seven 24 on 24 so everybody deserves this win okay so here's the big question do you see yourself being a top three contender for the overall LGCT championship this year yes that's the answer we <laughs> wanted and is that because you've got the horsepower? Why? Why are you? It's only because I have the horsepower. Yeah. And who's in that top string at the moment? I think with Gancia, Deluxe, Illusionata, Jensen, I think I have four oh. Grand Prix horses. They can go all over the world. Cool. And are you planning to be in Madrid? Yeah, that's the plan. This is one of the younger horses. This one is a seven year old horse. Um, I really believe in it, so I hope uh, in a few years you can come back to Ooh. get an interview from her. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> She's seven year old. Um, is Carolina. Um, actually, the grandmother is Carolina from Pio Switzer. Oh, really? Yeah. So Ooh, that's small uh, world. Yeah, small world. <laughs> I can show you also the, the small paddocks we have uh, because I think it's really important for the horses. Um, I use them a lot, they go often there after the work to uh, enjoy a bit the freedom, uh, to take the stress off. Um, I use them short on Monday if the horses have a long travel after the show, they have a busy uh, weekend showing. Um, I like to have a half day off, they have 30, uh, a half day they can go in the paddocks and I think for me it's really important for the horses to take one time the pressure off. This one is the most cheap one I have because <laughs> I get it for free. free? Uh, um, actually, I get it from Jerome Gary. It was the pony from the kids. Um, and he said, I have a super old pony for your kids if they want to learn to ride. And actually, it's the old day with the, with the show horses outside. Oh, he enjoyed them. company. Yeah. <laughs> That's so lovely. So, do you not flat him for any other classes apart no, from the Grand Prix? Only for the Grand Prix. And is that a superstition thing? Is that something you've always done? Yeah, I think it's so. He knows already when we start to plat him that it's important. <laughs> That's amazing. So GCL round one, you didn't plat him. But yeah, then, you... then he was plat, you oh, know. Okay. It was already, I had to qualify it also yeah. for the Grand Prix, so. <laughs> important. <laughs> yeah. And um, can you just briefly talk us through how you rode the GCL different to the Grand Prix with him? Or was it just, do you know what, I just need to get a clear in both? I want to, uh, first of all, I wanted to jump clear for the team yeah. and I wanted to qualify for the Grand Prix. So that were the main two things. And uh, like I said, I was so confident in him already the week before that I could feel already <laughs> straight away in the, in the second round from the league that he was still in that super shape. So thank you very much uh, to watch the video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.